What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I want to let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two-hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's going to be available at MyInvestingClub.co, the link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. It's uh, Tom Diesel here on another episode. Hope you guys uh, had a great weekend. Today, I'm going to go over uh, one of the most important topic uh, uh, for us as a traders, uh, which is a uh, CBT, Consistently Profitable Trader. I did that um, first episode last time, but this topic is, um, you know, way too complex. So... I'm gonna, uh, you know, start uh, doing it by, you know, uh, pieces slowly. So uh, today we're gonna go over what is really holding you back from, you know, becoming, uh, becoming a CPT, uh, which I listed uh, a bunch here. Which is, uh, which are the obstacles, right? Uh, what is like been holding you back, or it's like been stopping you to become a CPT? And I've you know i've come across and you know a really good uh quote so i th i thought i could put it here and it's really nice you know uh sometimes life uh, gives you an uh, obstacles and obstacles uh, that may seem unfair or too extreme but you are given the choices right break through the obstacles or you know let them break you and that uh, was my situation back then when i uh, you know first started you know i had so many basically the obstacles i started with a small account and uh you know at that time i couldn't be able to to actually you know uh, pay myself or like uh, to live with it so i had to drive uber and everything yeah but you know long, long story short um i've just um highlight uh what are the key points or the main thing here that you need to focus on or or those are basically my obstacles right now i mean i'm i'm consistently making my money yes uh but uh it's like uh, there are so many things that i need to work on still every day and as a trader there's you know no way you you can uh, you know eliminate those uh, completely right uh, for example like my patience or discipline i i I'm still working on that every day, even sizing, sizing is my biggest issue. It's all re relative right now, right? Based on your account, you know, I don't know what's your optimal size or your average size would be, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, as a trader, you uh, might be starting with, uh, you know, 100 or 200 shares uh, or 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 or like 20,000, but uh, they're always a level that you want to improve right so it uh, just really doesn't matter where you are at right now but so i'm i'm gonna go over that and uh, at the end i'm gonna go over some of the q a questions from the after hours today yeah so uh yeah guys uh let's get on to it so what's holding me back uh before when i became a, a cpt was that i don't have an edge like i didn't have an edge right i don't know you know i know how to trade but it's more like uh, i couldn't find the real edge for myself it's easier said than done it's like uh, w w we have all the strategy that um posted on uh, mic videos yes we all know that but it's still like the real time executions is so hard the mental framework uh, so that you can execute it's uh, it, it's more like nobody knows you as well as yourself right but uh, sometimes it's really significant to look into the problem look like in the mirror and uh, you can see both you know your strengths and weaknesses and one this realize i mean you can implement uh, you know a good strategy or good plan on it and for for an edge i, I think every business needs an edge right it's like uh, I spoke, uh, you know, I talked uh, about it last time in my last video and uh, treat it like uh, a business, 
right? And um, you want to find, as, as, as you open a business, you want to find the best product, right? And the, the one that's going to sell the most. So every business needs a niche, and so does every trader need to find his own, like, you know, to become a, you know, successful. And, I mean, the edge, it has to be in your total comfort zone. You know, it has to be, you know, your bread and butter play and setup. Uh, it's it's really, um, it also needs to focus on your uh, strengths and, you know, uh, why you avoiding those as, as a person, uh, those who are weaknesses as a person. And um, my edge uh, and uh, strategy uh, usually always fit perfectly, you know, with my personality. You know, for, for example, um, my personality is that I'm not patient, right? And so that's why uh, I like scalping the most because I could get in and get out quick. It's like I, I, I want fast money. I'm not being able to, to you know, to hold uh, the stock for like, uh, you know, the whole day. And, you know, I don't have that kind of patience. All right, so this is the Q&A. Having this in win way but loses a way bigger due to the size of everything. Yeah, this is what exactly what, what I've been just telling now is you don't have to add on the way up. You can also add back on the way down, right? So think about that. And it doesn't mean that you have to get in full size really on the way up because sometimes it could really squeeze you and you could end up losing much more. And uh, so try to... Um, Try to uh, find uh, you know a spot that you could add back and uh, to uh, bring up the size uh, with good risk reward. Being greedy instead of blocking profits along the way, not expecting my stop, uh, panic entering. Yeah, I think that the video I did on that was uh, was great in process. I just show it to you. Greedy is the you know it's really a big part because that's usually when you think you're not making enough and but i think you just have to accept on um, you know accept the fact that it's it's going to be like that right uh, as human we always want more so you have to kind of uh, know what is the amount that you're comfortable with it's like because i think money is something that really <laughs> i mean the greed in there is really big because uh sometimes you're making 1000 it's not even enough and then now you're making 10000 and you want 100k and when you make 100k you want 1 million right so the greed is always going to be there but you have to come up with a plan and take the profits along the way try to use trail stops maybe and and that's how you can uh, become uh like being patient with the, with that and i sp explained that on my uh, greed uh, uh, versus a uh, process on that video if you want to have a look at that being able to accept the profits of some of the uh, give it all back you know, being scared of making money out to lose it all yeah uh, this one i have i'm i was struggling with that uh, a lot and what i c come up with that it's like uh, when i'm whenever i'm up on the day i don't want to lose back 30 percent of my profit and uh, let's say I'm up 1,000, right? And I have to, you know, I'm, I'm green on the day for 1,000. And I said to myself, oh, right, that's not enough. I want more, right? But more doesn't mean that you're going to risk that all back. You know, try to use 30% of that. You know, try to use the money to make more money. That's what I've, I've, I've been doing. It's like uh, whenever I'm not up enough on the way or I, I think I'm not good enough, uh, on the day yes i'm breaking my rules yes i'm not having a discipline and sit and wait mm, so i try to do it systematically uh, it's like i'm using 30 percent of that gains to be able to add on the risk right and to be able to trade something else if i'm i'm making you know uh, a good amount i'm gonna you know use that 30 percent again and again until you know i hit that i have to stop for the day i don't want to give back all my profits that's what that's the way i've, I've been doing uh, for a few times but it's it's really a breaking discipline and but you're breaking discipline with a plan at least right it's better than you know <laughs> breaking everything and try uh, you give it all back
All right, guys, have a good weekend, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.